Good morning. Man, I need to exercise more. I miss exercising more. But check out this epic, epic exercise more and sleep more. Check out this insane thing to wake up to. It's really cool. They also have like a little pool here for people to do laps. Just in the ocean water. How amazing is that? sunshines I'm loving this freaking place so much it's insane just finished work still a little bit of sun left I decided instead of going riding in the sun I'll go for a run later on and I'll ride in the dark because because I wanted to come to this lookout and I also really wanted to um, take some epic drone footage of the bridge so I'm gonna quickly show you around this is you can do this as a walk but this place is called Mount Kara Summer look out oh my god I'm gonna flip you around I'm also gonna fly the drone and show you around but this is spectacular I absolutely absolutely love living and being so close to the beach to the ocean that's like <laughs> resonates with me so much and raises my vibrations and just makes me so 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 happy oh my god this is basically a rock telling you where we at there's like a bit of a stuff about it so it's, you can do there's bathrooms here there's um barbecue you can also cycle up here but you know you'll need few hours. It's freaking. Oh my god, what are you going? Mount Kira is a local landmark of Wollongong, towering 463 meters high and casting its projective shadow over the city. It is located just 4 k's northwest of Wollongong. It forms part of the Illawarra range and provides sweeping views over the Wollongong, as you can see here. Kira is an indigenous Australian term meaning large lagoon or high mountain. The Darawal Aboriginal people called it Jera, meaning wild turkey. The first maps of the area called it Kira with double E, later adding the I. The mountain is usually pronounced Kira. The natural beauty of Mount Kira gives an unspoiled backdrop to the city of Wollongong. The vegetation is made up of a mixture of rainforest and open forest.
place. I've been wanting to do this for so long ever since you know I rode my bike here <laughs> and then I got the drone and now I've been here and I just flew it and it's absolutely spectacular although it's freaking freezing because it's like 19 17 degrees here today so I'm so cold by the way my hot pink new cycling jersey it's like actually a thermal jersey that I got in America for winter cycling so many cold pools. Oh, so cool. I'm actually, the phone doesn't have a case on it right now. So I'm a little bit more wary with everything. <laughs> Gonna go back to the car. Good change, go for a run. And look at the epic, epic, epic shots we took. <sighs> Stunning. They do a lot of ads here as well for like cars and such. Just because it's a, just a really, scenic route you see just spectacular it's all right you have the drone footage see you in a minute this is one of the coolest places in the area i absolutely love it is the 665 meter long sea cliff bridge which is a highlight along the Grand Pacific Drive, a drive which takes in 140 k's worth of coastal scenery. The bridge has become an icon to the people of Wollongong and the world, once again welcoming tourists annually to the picturesque coast. It is a balanced cantilever bridge located in the northern Illawarra region of New South Wales. The $52 million bridge links the coastal villages of Colkley and Clifton, featuring two lanes of traffic, a cycleway and a walkway. So as you might have seen in the past, I've actually cycled along the bridge. So you can definitely do that or go run along it as there is a pedestrian track as well. The Sea Cliff Bridge is one of only seven offshore parallel to coast bridges in the world. The Seacliff Bridge was named by an 11 year old schoolgirl following a naming competition open to local primary school students. It was opened in December 2005 the Sea Cliff Bridge offers visitors the chance to get out of the car and stretch their legs or go for a ride along it. It has amazing great viewing platforms for migrating whales heading north to south during migration season. And obviously the most spectacular jaw-dropping views of the cliffs. Also at the backside you might see the actual cliffs. You do need to be careful if you're hiking around in the area, but there are a lot, a lot of different hikes up there if you wanted to do that and obviously see the area from that side of the mountain check out be careful if you do go for a hike and look out for loose rocks but definitely a worthwhile absolutely spectacular place to visit <laughs> 